What is going on guys? I'm Ethan and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the scroll wheel edit and how it works. So basically when you place down a building, right, and you edit, you can, with the scroll wheel edit, you can reset really fast. And sorry, my edits are really trash right now. But yeah, you just reset really fast. You just do all your edits and you can reset instantly. So that's really quick, right? So how this, how to do this though, is you go into settings you go into your keybinds and this only works on keyboard and mouse i do not know how to do it on controller i know there's a way but i i don't know so i'll be showing you guys how to do this on keyboard and mouse so as you can see my building edit is c and also mouse wheel up now you can do this mouse wheel up or down whichever you prefer but i chose up so your building edit is going to be whichever button you you choose so i use c for instance and and then you're gonna put mouse wheel up or down whichever one you prefer and then after uh and when i say mouse wheel up it's basically scrolling so when you scroll your mouse wheel up that's that'll activate building edit and and you also put your reset building as mouse wheel up so as you can see i can use c as my as my building edit right and i can also scroll wheel up once and then edit now um for building a reset you, you it kind of like i want i don't want to say cancel each other's cancels each other out but it you scroll wheel up twice and then it resets instantly so you scroll wheel once because scroll wheel is also your your uh, your edit and then you scroll wheel again and it'll reset so i'll show you guys again the settings and you can do this either down or up, whichever one works for you or whichever one you prefer. So mouse wheel up is your building edit. And then after you have reset building edit. So this is basically what it does. It's really good. I really, I really I highly suggest this. It's really good in box fights and it's just, I, I, I really like it. Alrighty. So I actually want to talk about pros and cons of the scroll wheel edit. So I'll start off with cons. So as you can see, the two weapons I'm holding, I press my secondary. Um, I press my second the but the button I used to, for my secondary is the scroll wheel edit, and I press on it. So since the edit button button is the scroll wheel up, and my secondary is pressing the scroll wheel, it really um, for any of you guys that do this as well, it really uh, annoys me. So let's say I'm in a box and I'm fighting someone, so I'll have my I need I have my primary out right. I need to get my shotgun. I press it, but then I accidentally edit like this. I'm stuck like this. And I'm trying to edit and then waste a bunch of time that I could be using killing the other person. Um, and another thing with this is for edits that like, you know, like flex edits, when you try to edit super fast, sometimes if you scroll wheel too much, um, it will like cancel out. So you won't be able, be able to edit. So I'll show you guys, for instance, like that, as you can see. This is mainly more for in-game edits, and it's not really meant for like uh, flex builds or anything or flex edits or anything like that. So as you can see, like I can I can edit pretty fast or I can reset really fast, but I can't really have a good uh, free or flex edit. So that's the um, the cons of it, and for the pros, I think that you know you'll be editing faster or resetting faster than most people will. So let's say you're uh, you're fighting someone, or you're like you're in a box, right? Or you know you're trying to peek. You can edit reset way faster, or way faster than you know anyone else can, unless they use the scroll wheel edit as well. But you're editing way faster than, or resetting way faster than everyone else. So I think that's a really good pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial. If you did, please leave a like. Um, Use my creator code, mirrorblade underscore. It's actually, uh, you know, right here, mirrorblade underscore. Um, if you do, comment down or send me a picture on Instagram, mirrorblade underscore. Or actually, no, mirrorblade on Instagram. Send me a screenshot and I'll, uh, I'll thank you personally. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below what, what you guys thought. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.